This is how to create a feedback loop inside the FL Studio. All right. Um, I can't say enough that this is just one example. And the sound that the feedback makes or what kind of feedback sound you create can be anything. You know, it can be a bass tone. It can be a high pitch sound, it can be something in the mid range, it can be something that's oscillating, it can be something that's static. But um, why you want to use a feedback loop is basically to fill in the gaps in your music and to be competitive. Um, a lot of dubstep nowadays is using feedback, but it's been around forever and it's now getting into all kind of genres. But Basically, if you go to the UFK Dubstep channel, play one of those tracks, and then compare it to your favorite hip hop track, the dubstep track is always gonna be louder without causing distortion in your speakers. Same exact pair of speakers, so why does the hip hop track make your speakers start to distort and crackle, sound shitty, when the dubstep track doesn't? Probably because of feedback. Probably because they had resonant tones that are gonna work with your speakers better. And it's just gonna be louder because the tones coming out of the speaker are gonna amplify off of themselves in the air before you hear it. And um, it's, it's, it's something like magic, really. Nobody really understands feedback completely, but the, the analogy I can give you to help people understand it's like how a turbocharger gives a car a lot more power using the exhaust gas to get more air into the intake just works the same principle with the turbo jet on a big airplane or something like that it just works um so without trying to explain all of that basically get into what we have in the setup so down here in the mixer Track 10, we have our, our brass loop going. Sounds like this. All right, just got a little reverb on it, widen it up. Um, it's sending itself to the master channel, um, but what I've also did is allow it to send to insert one. And insert one is the start of our feedback creation. All right, and it's going to insert one, going to insert two, three, and four, because, well, let me show you. This is um, the feedback loop, all right? It's being fed by the brass loop, like I said, and if I would turn these off and not send to those channels, it would just be a feedback loop. All right, but we're sending the brass to this channel to keep the feedback kind of in syncopation with the track and make it more musical. And um, the basic idea is just in the first couple of channels, you're boosting the level to extreme levels and, and kind of shaping your sound a little but when you really shape your sound is in the like the final two stages are the, the tracks later in your feedback loop. So on track four, you see the volume is kind of coming down and on track five, we have a limiter to really control the volume. Without that limiter, it'd just be incredibly loud and blowing your speakers up. And then I still turned it down. But on track four, make sure we got this. All right, on track four, is basically the main shaping tool, and that's a guitar rig five, All right? Um, because if I start switching up the, the presets here, it's gonna make it sound completely different. You know, and this is just one effect. Imagine if I had two or three of these on this um, effects channel. It would change the sound even more 
but using it like this is not what I would do in the mix normally, you know. This would be pretty low and the brass would be up. You know, the clean brass sound just going through. And then my drums, you know. And then there'd be a lot more tracks. There'd be, you know, other brass loops. There'd be piano and synth sounds. There'd be a bass line. There'd be all this other stuff. And you, you kind of wouldn't even hear the feedback so much, you know. But just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to kind of keep it up so you hear it more. Um, but yeah, like, that's basically it. I'm, I'm doing it with um, waves, plugins, basically, like a limiter to just crank the volume, waves max volume to crank the volume, crazy high reverbs, just FL Studio reverbs to, to widen it, you know, um, second track, another reverb, another limiter, um, parametric EQ. You can see I'm just kind of cranking certain frequencies, you know, and um, third track, another reverb, another EQ, cranking the level, shaping it a little more. And the fourth track is that guitar rig I was showing you. And um, that's basically it, you know, depending on your effects and, and how you EQ it and sky's the limit you know what I'm saying but I just wanted to help people in an FL environment that um, wanted to create this and you don't need waves plugins you don't need you know the guitar rig 5 but it just certainly helps you know if I couldn't go to guitar rig and switch through presets like this I would just have to do it all myself you know I'd have to bring in a LFO by myself, bring in this filter, this quad delay, and you know, it take a lot more time without good plugins, but you can do it with any kind of plugins, especially with FL Studio, since you have, you know, the, um, the hell is that thing called? The formula controller, and um, you can make your, your effects um, pan and, and automate and, and do all that just with, with that right there. So, um, you know, it's crazy, you know, so that's basically my video. I'm trying to keep it short, you know what I'm saying? But you probably want to use this if you don't have an analog mixer. If you have a real analog mixer, you should always use your real analog mixer for feedback. Because analog feedback is just a completely different beast i mean don't get me wrong you can get bass and you can get all kind of different evolving sounds from a digital environment but it, it really doesn't compete with the analog mixer and um that kind of feedback so i've hit you with the the reason and the ableton um digital feedback and now i'm hitting you with the fl studio in the future i might hit you with the pro tools one um and I might hit you with the analog setup too. So, um, yeah, do you think you're making good music, man? And um, this right here is dope. And this right here is the future. Don't sleep. <laughs>